Well, hello everyone, Texie 88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm taking a look at Cybernoid 2 on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now, my most recent Spectrum review was of the first Cybernoid game and and like that, um, th that game, this sequel was also programmed by Raffaele Chekel and Although one thing I have noticed is that this is, uses the Sinclair character set instead of having a, a, a user-defined uh, typeface, which is a bit of a disappointment. But uh, as long as the rest of the game is fine, I'm not going to let that overly bother me. Is it? I'm expecting some... some and uh, th this has some great use of colour, just like its predecessor. So this is another game that I featured in a recent YouTube live stream of mine, but hadn't actually reviewed at the time. So let's redefine my keys. As in the previous game, uh, there's no down control. We counteract uh, constantly sinking motion with the up. And you've got, you've got seven weapons this time to choose from. And the ship looks quite different now, and there's probably even more colour now this this time. And uh... oh, that didn't work out at all. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, too late. Uh you have to time it just right if it. That's it, got it. Oh, pillock. Okay. The options look like a uh, look like the uh, uh, the ship from the first Cybernoid this time around. Ah, good. There's a rear shot up there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit crude. <laughs> but at least I can fire behind me as long as I've got that. I just must try not to take a hit. Hey, got that thing. Oh, poo, it just shot at me just before it died. That's so annoying when that kind of thing happens in shmups, when um, an, an enemy just just kills you just a tiny fraction before. Oh, um, I see there are two different, um, there are different shapes of options. Oh, God, it's one of those caterpillar things. I like, oh, not like I had a chance to experience it because I've just lost my last life. Like its predecessor, this game's hard as nails. But still nonetheless enjoyable. Let's try that again. This time I'm going to have to seek her ready the, uh, the right little moment when I get into that room. Yeah, you go. Oh! That stinks, that does. That really stinks. As with the previous game, you can't shoot those uh, those uh, the, those circular things. You just have to avoid them. And I have to collect 500, uh, 500 more in terms of goodies. Get away from me. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Yay! As in the previous game, there's lots of nice big explosions. Collision detection is generally very good, which is always a plus. You don't want bad hit detection in a game like this. Bastard, something got me. 
I've lost my option now. My options. I've turned on. I've turned on a shield. Oh, you tit head! What did you do that for? Yeah, it is a shame that they didn't. Uh, they've used the Sinclair character set. Maybe there wasn't space to. Uh... Uh, get the seeker, get the seeker ready as usual. Yay! Trouble is, I these four. No, oh, you son of a bitch! That enemy really does my Sweden. I get the feeling that's that particular enemy is a kind that that comes on if you take too long to if you dither too long on a screen. But then again, I'm not sure. I mean, it could just be one that would have appeared anyway. I don't know. Oh, you son of a bitch! Close. Yeah, I've got enough to... Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Sorry. This game is so frustrating. I mean, it's not the hardest game I've played, I mean, and it's still really enjoyable. It's just a pain in the ass. Oh bollocks! I mistimed that completely. One more go. Yeah, got you that. No! Oh, got you that time, matey. Yeah, I really love the way that uh, I really love the way that, um, that it's Raphael that Checo has done the graphics. And... Yeah, you got t time bombs there. And... I've lost my bloody broken. I've lost all my weapons now. No, I'm not shooting that thing. I don't want to let that caterpillar-like thing out because you can't destroy those. Oh, I thought I was going to just get away with that. Caterpillar things. Oh shit! Oh piss off! You can't shoot. How come they're able to shoot through the wall? It's 
So that's Cybernoid 2 for the ZX Spectrum. Although there is a 48K version, this is the 128K version. The 48K version, uh, I believe, has absolutely no in-game music. So, as with its predecessor, the graphics are really nice. Tons of color with little, uh, little in the way of attribute clash. Um, as I said in the review of the first game, the... Uh, that's one of uh, the, the way he Rafael Checo uses color is one of his trademarks in Spectrum titles, especially. And uh, this game is no exception. And everything animates really smoothly and a uh, little bit of slowdown when there's tons on screen, just like the, was the case in the previous game. Sound effects are really nice. Uh, Plenty of explosion sound effects and firing shot sound effects and the, and the like and gameplay. Well, like its predecessor, it is hard. So, but, but it, it, despite its toughness, it does still have that just one more go factor, which makes you want to keep coming back because it, you you do find that sometimes luck is on your side and you get that screen further, like I did just just then. I mean, a lot, a lot of your enjoyment of this game will depend on how much you enjoyed the first game. I mean, if you found that one too hard, then you, then you'll probably find that you have exactly the same problem with this. And as I said, it is a shame that it uses the Sinclair character set for the uh, typeface instead of the custom one that was in the first game. But that doesn't affect the actual gameplay much. It's just a, it's just a little bit of a shame, but. And uh, if you're playing with joystick, it could be a bit of a pain to have to reach across to the keyboard to select your, to select one of the uh, additional weapons. But uh, this is still a good game, and I'll still happily give it 8 out of 10. It's only really its toughness and the similarity to its predecessor that, uh, that, that prevents me from really being able to give it a 9. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Taxi 88 out.